Hello folks, uh, welcome to this uh, video tutorial where I'm going to create a multiple linear regression uh, machine learning model for our problem statement where we are uh, trying to predict the profit based on the uh, five variables, uh, in fact four variables, R&D spend, administration, marketing spend and state. Right, so we were, uh, the task is to predict the profit. So this is a supervised machine learning problem wherein we will be utilizing these four columns to predict the profit, okay? So let's start with uh, importing some important libraries, okay? Shift, enter is the shortcut key for executing this cell. Now read, uh, uh, next step is to import the, uh, uh, import the uh, CSV file in which we have these 50 startup data. So data equals to uh, pd dot read csv and then the name of the file which is 50 underscore startups dot csv and then the next step is to you know uh, split the columns into two parts x and y because x will contain these four columns and the y will contain profit column only okay so let's do it uh, pd in fact uh, data dot iloc okay and then so here i am just uh, you know including all the four <coughs> columns excuse me and for y i will be including only the last column so indexing starts from 0 so 0 1 2 3 and this is the fourth column so I will be using fourth column here which is 4 and dot values right uh, okay let's execute this let me check the contents of the data mm. okay so data frame object has no object values value in fact um, getting an error oh sorry so this is the problem data dot head okay so we can see that our data a snapshot of our data now <coughs> We can also check the value of x and y. So x, you can see that uh, the first three columns and the state. So R&D, administration, marketing, and then you. Let's check for y as well. Let's go for next cell. So y has the value of profit values here. You can see very well here. Now. The in concept which I am going to introduce here is one hot encoding. So you have seen this this particular column which is a state. We have a non-numerical value here. These are string values: New York, California, Florida. So we can't use these string values in our uh, multiple linear regression model. Okay. Uh, so the way to cater this kind of problem is to convert these uh, string values or non-numerical values into numerical values first and then after that uh, change them into one hot encoding okay so let's do uh, one by one so that's why I have uh, you know imported this label encoder okay for changing into numerical values so lo let's initialize the object here which is label encoder okay and then the next statement is because this is the <coughs> excuse me third variable so zero one two three so we need to change this into numerical value so third variable so that's why i have mentioned here as third okay then label encoder and dot fit underscore transform okay 
find facts three, okay, and then so before jumping on to next statement, okay, <coughs> let me tell you the concept of one hand one hot encoding. So in one hot encoding, uh, so our equation will be like this. Uh, right, our multiple linear regression will be like a naught plus a one into R and D spend plus a two into administration plus a two a three into marketing plus what? Because here we have only string value, so we don't know what to do. So we need to convert into numerical value first. So that's the way we do it. First, converting into numerical value. So let us in New York will be given a value zero. California will be given one. And then uh, there is another Florida will be given two, but these are some ordinal values, right? And no one particular state is uh, less than or equal to has a value less than or equal to something like because zero one two represent zero is less than one, one is less than two. But we can't say that New York is because New York represent let us say zero, California one, Florida one, two. So we can't say that New York is less than California or California is less than Florida. So for this, we need to basically convert these value or the numerical values into one hot encoding. So a lot of machine learning algorithms are not capable of handling this categorical data, right? So zero one to categorical data or categorical variable. So one hot encoding is the method in which we make uh, these machine learning algorithms handle categorical variables right so that's the way we do it so for new york we assigned the value one california zero and uh, let us say if we have florida also then florida zero so wherever wherever we have new york we'll assign the value as one one and one right and wherever we have california we have uh so for new york one 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 and uh, California 0, 0, 0. So what we have done here, essentially here is we have converted this particular column or split it into multiple columns. So New York here which was row become column. California also become column and then we assigned <coughs> values accordingly. So New York assigned value 1 because New York is present here and uh, California will be given 0. Here for California we have given 1. New York 0 and likewise right so our equation will become here a naught plus a1 into R&D spend plus a2 into administration plus a3 into marketing and plus a4 into New York so we what we essentially did is uh, so in this case we don't need these two columns now state and California we will include only New York because New York and California are mutually exclusive here. So we even if we include only one column, it will work. The machine learning algorithm will work because uh, multiple linear regression library takes care of this thing uh, automatically here. OK, so we won't include a state and California column here. We will just include New York here. OK, so the next its statement uh, here would be uh one hot and encoder equals to so we are just creating an object of a not encoder here okay and then categorical features equals to three four third column which is state okay and then we will do x equals to one hot encoder dot fit underscore transform x dot two array so we are converting into array here so 
here we have converted into the state column into numerical and then those numerical values converted into one hot encoding so let's run this and then see our values here so you can see that <coughs> for new york you can see let us say uh, if i take an example here so in this new york okay here for california and for florida given zero and for new york it is given one and then we have other three values here r d administration and marketing r d administration and marketing for the second uh, row which is california so california is assigned a value one and then rest other two states as zero zero and then we have <coughs> three column values here okay these are three column values so these are the one hot encoded values of state column these are the one hot encoded values of state column california since california is present here so it is given one new york is given one in this and florida you will see that florida it was the third row it is middle value which is one okay <coughs> so we have done one hot encoding here the next step is to basically split the data set <coughs> okay so we will be splitting the data set here so x train then x test y train y test is equals to train test split <coughs> and then the variable x and y we will include here because we are in splitting them so test size so we are keeping test size equals to 20 percent here 0 0.2 20 percent so essentially 10 rows 20 percent 20 percent of 50 is 10 rows so 10 rows will be uh, coming into testing data set okay so it is splitted in this way okay a uh, train test split is not defined okay from so we haven't defined the te test train split uh, uh, imported the test train split here so that's why it is giving us this error so cross validation <coughs> import train test effect it's train test not test train train test split let's run it once and run this cell once again hopefully to, it will not give any error so yeah it is fine working fine here so folks i am stopping uh, the video here uh, i will cover uh, the rest of the portion in the next video so thank you thanks for watching